இணையதளம் வாயிலாக நடைபெறும் வகுப்புகள் முப்பது மாதிரி தேர்வுகள் மற்றும் ஆசிரியர் வழிகாட்டலுடன் கூடிய எங்கள் ஆங்கில வழி கல்வி திட்டத்தில் சேர்ந்து எஸ்பிஐ பிஓ இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபது தேர்வில் உங்கள் வெற்றியை உறுதி செய்யுங்கள் Good afternoon guys and a very warm welcome to the session. I hope you guys are doing well and your preparations are going good too. Okay, so we have some people joining us here. Madhur, Anurag, Shubham, Anurag, Harish, Ashish. Uh, good afternoon guys. I hope you guys are doing well and your preparations is, are also going good. Uh, please share the stream. So this is a small request. Please share the stream with your friends also so that they know that the class has started. Ashu Arun, good afternoon. Um, Anmol, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Suraj. Good afternoon, Kritika. Okay, so we will be discussing today inequality questions, right? So this is again a part of your prelims. Uh, but coded inequality is generally a part of your mains, but it can also come in prelims. Okay, so both of them can come, but generally if we talk about coded inequality, it's a part of your main section. examination right ek do questions aapke syllogism mein agar teen question hai to inequality ke coded mein aapke do question aa sakte hain so they can give you a mixed and match right and this is a very easy topic you have to be very good with this one theek hai okay so uh, shanki shubham good afternoon okay so we'll quickly start the session sakshi good afternoon yes you may come in pavan good afternoon uh, i'll start cooking after the class class is important okay thank you so much harish okay so let's have a look at the questions today so we will be having some inequality questions uh, we have already discussed such kinds of questions so uh, there is nothing that you will be learning today but yes let's increase some speed jaldi karne ki koshish karenge theek hai good afternoon navila sakshi uh, i am a little bit angry what happened sakshi why are you angry ओके सो लेट्स क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ठीक है तो पहला क्वेश्चन देखते हैं कि क्या है हमारे पास सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट दिस वन गाइस एंड लेट मी नो व्हाट विल बी द आंसर यस साक्षी प्लीज लेट मी नो व्हाट हैपन व्हाई आर यू एंग्री I hope all of you know that we are starting with the SBI PO batch. Shubham says hi I am new on your channel so Shubham welcome to this channel. I hope you enjoy the session aapko maza aayega. Kahin bhi koi bhi doubt ho please feel free to ask me your doubt right? So today we will be discussing inequality. We have already taken syllogism class in this series. Now today we will be discussing inequality and later on we will be having a look at coding decoding and everything. I will continue for my further study. Okay yes Shubham thank you so much. Okay So chalo good afternoon gauri devika good morning good afternoon okay so chalo sakshi says either okay let's see so i'm waiting for the answers here shubham has said neither nor shubham says neither nor sakshi says either so it's only one only two both one and two neither one and neither one nor two neither Okay. Shanky also says neither. Neither. Okay. So let's have a look. What do we have to find, right? We have to find the relation between D to G, uh, J and D to S, right? Neither, yes, absolutely. Neither nor is the right answer. ठीक है, बिल्कुल सही है. Neither nor would be the right answer. Yeah, none. बिल्कुल अभिषेक. That is the right answer. Yes, Ashu. Yes, Arun, uh, Suraj, Devika. Everyone is giving the right answers. Yeah, बिल्कुल. Neither. Somnath, Rama, Krishna. Absolutely. So neither nor is the right answer. Yes, Akshi. बिल्कुल. Neither. Harish. Neither. Absolutely. So let's have a look at this. Uh, here, variables not same hint. Yes, absolutely. But we just some in some cases you can make the variables equal also when there is an equal to sign, right? So just by looking looking at it that uh, the variables are not equal you should not do away with the either or statement wahan par ho sakta hai ki j is equal to s kahin par de rakha ho agar j aur s barabar hua then you can have an either or case also right so you have to be very careful with the equal to sign between the statements okay so uh, shubham uh, we have class we have session every day at 12 pm right so 12 pm is my session so 12 to 12:45 or 1 we can take the we can stretch it right okay so chalo let's have a look ma'am s and j are equal so we'll have a look at that whether it's s and j are equal or not theek hai chaliye dekhte hain so let's see 
So what is the meaning of copyright? A is neither greater than nor equal to. So that means it's less than, neither smaller than nor equal to. So this is greater than, not greater than. That means less than equal to, not smaller than. That is greater than equal to. And this has to be equal to, right? So these are the meanings of these. So ye aapka yaha par meaning ho gaya equal ka, thik hai? Ab chaliye dekhte hai what we have to make here. So D se J aur S ka dekh raha hai, thik hai? Uh, mother, no, you are not late. We are just discussing the first question. So let's make this. Let's see where, how we can connect this, right? If you have a look at this, S at the rate J, J at the rate R, and then we have R copyright B, and then we have per B percentage D, right? I'll just quickly write it uh, down, although you don't need to write all this, but yes, let's see. So this is your copyright B, and then we have a B percentage D, right? So itne mein hamara pura ka pura ye dono hame mil rahe, right? So you have to find the relationship from D to J, right? From D to J, you have to find the relationship and you have to find the relationship from D to S, right? Okay. So, trick the trick. Okay. So, chalo, let's quickly have a look. What is the value here? Okay. So, chale, jaldi se dekhte hai. What is the value here? At the rate, okay. There are two methods to solve this. One is the basic method. Another is the box method. So, box method or basic method mein difference to mujhe kuch bhi nahi samaj mein aata. There is no difference at all. And I feel that general basic method is better than going for the box method because with box method you will not be able to solve all sorts of questions i can make these questions trickier and you will not be able to apply the box method there agar maine ye uh, a copyright b ko bana diya ki b is not greater than a to aap wahan par confuse ho jaoge theek hai so confusion ko do away karne ke liye just go with the basic method if you are uh, very comfortable with the box method you can go with the magic box trick also theek hai so this, let's have a look at this one. What is the meaning of at the rate here? That is, at the rate ka matlab equal to hai. So the first one is equal to, this is also equal to. We know that which of the following gets preference less than or greater than gets a preference over your equal to and greater than equal to or less than equal to. Same aapka symbol hona chahiye. Ye sab hume uska pata hai, thik hai? Let's have a look at copyright. What is the meaning of copyright? That is a less than symbol. And what is the meaning of percentage? That is a greater than symbol, right? So if you have a look at this, you have this symbol and this symbol which are opposite in nature, right? So if you see okay, this copyright and this percentage, they are in opposite nature. If we make groups of two, Let's say, let's just make a group of two where we have similar kinds of symbols, right? So, ek mein aapka copyright aega, that is less than, then you have an asterisk that is less than equal to and you have a equal to that is at the rate. So, these three form group one and the other group will be percentage uh, greater than, then we have uh, this symbol and then we have your at the rate again, right? So if you have anything of group 1, only group 1, then you can find the definite relation and you have everything from group 2, then you can find another definite relation. Agar aapke yehi tino symbol beech mein use ho rahe hai, tabhi aap definite nikal paoge, varna aapka answer cannot be determined ya either or mein aega. Thik hai? So, Please remember that the signs should be of the same nature. Less than ke saath, less than equal to, equal to, yehi kaam kar sakta hai. If in the same sequence, if in the passage you get a greater than sign or greater than equal to, you will not be able to travel further. So the signs should be of similar nature. Now in this one, you see that this is copyright and this is percentage. Now copyright is coming in group 1 and percentage is coming in group 2. That means you cannot travel only. So aap usme travel nahi kar paoge, aap relationship determine nahi kar paoge, thik hai? Yes. Okay. So, other than box method, you explain the sorting technique. Yes, absolutely. So, you can just categorize the symbol and you can find the answer here. So, you have to find the relationship from D to J. Now, you cannot travel from D to J because of these opposite nature symbols. That means the first one will be invalid. What is the value for D to S? Now D to S again if you have a look again you have this same problem that is you are getting two symbols of opposite nature. Now what is the meaning? Just let's have a look one person was saying Sakshi said that it can be either or. Let's check whether we are getting all three relationships from here or not. What is the meaning of this symbol? That is again this one, right? So you are getting same symbol between them. Agar aapka yaha par ye wala symbol mila hai, matlab this is less than, this is greater than equal to. So you will need another less than symbol to have an either or pair. That means yaha par aapko copyright chahiye tha. You should have had a copyright symbol to get an either or pair. Either or pair mein please remember that you should have 
all the symbols it is giving you only a one only two symbols that is of greater than and equal to between your d and j theek hai i hope this is clear bilkul so ye aapka yahan par answer neither nor hoga theek hai so neither nor would be the right answer here theek hai so neither nor so neither one nor two would be the right answer so vagmi pandya good morning good afternoon i just joined the session so welcome to the session bilkul so ek hi nikalna hai cos s is equal to j hoga neither hoga bilkul so bilkul sahi hai kyunki s aur j barabar hai dono ko dekhne ki zarurat hi nahi hai theek hai so i hope this is clear to everyone let's go to the next question so this is the next question on your screen quickly have a look at this one and let me know the answer to this one so good morning jyoti i hope you are doing well i am also good ha this is the this that was the first question this is question number 2 on your screen now this one is again very easy direct aapko dikh raha hai yahan par this can be just taken in the same sequence this is a one sequence right so this becomes b dollar c percentage d and percent t hash u nothing at all absolutely easy which is says e arpan thank you so much uh, pradeep says box method pradeep i already told you the box method you can apply in these questions but if i make the questions trickier if i just uh, invert the relationships you will get confused with box method that is why i always suggest that go with the basic only because with basic you can solve every question like in syllogism you have one technique that is of venn diagram you can solve everything using the venn diagram you have 50 150 method also you have the analytical method also to solve those questions but those will not be applicable to each and every kind of question so this is what happens right so you should go with that method that is applicable on all the questions everything it should not be that it is applicable only on this part and it cannot be used to solve this question so usme aapka thoda sa confusion ho jayega aapko bahut sare alag alag methods seekhne padenge okay so we are having answers as e uh, sakshi says b okay we'll check whether b is answer or not sakshi just look at the e part also because one and two can they form an either or pair or not वन और टू में आइदर और बनेगा बिल्कुल सही है यस एब्सोल्युटली सो फिफ्थ वन वुड बी द राइट आंसर इट्स एब्सोल्युटली नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन एम्परसेंट नॉट स्मॉलर देन दैट मींस इट इज डायरेक्टली गिवन दिस इज नॉट स्मॉलर देन इज नीदर स्मॉल p is not smaller than sorry p is not smaller than so this can be greater than equal to p is not the neither smaller than nor equal to so this has to be greater than neither greater than nor equal to so less than not greater than that means less than equal to and this has to be equal to right so yes fifth one will be the right answer ha okay chalo sahi hai no ma'am uh, e is correct one yes absolutely e one will be the right answer here theek hai so yahan par agar aap banaoge although you don't need to make this because in isme aapko wo karne ki zarurat nahi hai it's a very easy question because you can see that you can directly combine the statement to get one statement pura ka pura aapka seedha combine ho ja raha hai to aapko kuch bhi yahan par karne ki zarurat nahi hai you have to find the relationship from d to b so d to b ke beech mein if you have a uh, if you check what is the relationship here so let's quickly write it down dollar ka kya matlab hai डॉलर मीन्स लेस देन इक्वल टू परसेंटेज मीन्स इक्वल टू देन यू हैव एम परसेंट विच मीन्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू राइट एंड दिस मीन्स हैश राइट सो वी हैव फोर सिंबल्स हैश का मतलब है आपका ग्रेटर देन ठीक है ये आपके यहां पर मतलब है सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम डी टू बी सो दिस इज योर इक्वल टू एंड दिस इज योर ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू दैट मीन्स बी शुड बी लेस देन इक्वल टू डी राइट दिस शुड बी द रिलेशन और डी शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू डी ना इफ यू हैव अ लुक एट दिस परसेंटेज परसेंटेज का मतलब क्या है दैट इज इक्वल टू एंड हैश का क्या मतलब है हैश मीन्स ग्रेटर देन सो इफ यू कंबाइन बोथ ऑफ देम यू विल गेट एन आईदर और पेयर दैट इज दिस वन इज गिविंग यू इक्वल टू एंड दिस वन इज गिविंग यू अ ग्रेटर देन सो डी इज ग्रेटर देन बी विल बी वन आईदर और पेयर सो आईदर डी कैन बी ग्रेटर देन बी Or D can be equal to B. ठीक है हा बिल्कुल सो मैम इच क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंट नॉट रिलेटेड टू प्रीवियस सिंबल्स और प्रॉब्लम एब्सोल्युटली सो आई टेकन डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन आई हैव नॉट टेकन अ सेट ऑफ फाइव राइट ओके सो दिस इज द वन द फर्स्ट सेट फर्स्ट टू विल फॉर्म एन आइदर और पेयर 
यहां पर इफ यू हैव अ लुक बिटवीन यू टू सी यू कैन सी दैट यू विल हैव अ रिलेशन डायरेक्ट रिलेशन मिल जाएगा दैट इज ऑफ यू इज लेस देन सी बिकॉज दिस वन विल गेट अ प्रेफरेंस ओवर अदर सिंबल राइट सो यू हैव टू बी लेस देन सी एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एस्ट्रिक दैट इज लेस देन बिल्कुल सही है टी से सी देखना है सो यू कैन चेक वॉट इज द रिलेशन फ्रॉम टी टू सी दिस इज एम परसेंट दिस इज परसेंटेज एम परसेंट का क्या मतलब था दिस इज योर लेस देन इक्वल टू राइट सो दिस हैज टू बी योर लेस देन इक्वल टू एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डॉलर दैट इज ऑल्सो लेस देन इक्वल टू बिल्कुल आपके दोनों सही है आई होप दिस इज क्लियर राइट सो फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड विल फॉर्म एन आईदर और पेयर एंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ आर डेफिनेटली ट्रू हियर सो द राइट आंसर हियर विल बी योर ई पार्ट राइट सो ई विल बी द राइट आंसर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन ऑल दो दीज आर वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन प्लीज बी केयरफुल विद द ऑप्शन वी आर हैविंग ऑप्शन एज वन मे बी फॉल्स टू मे बी फॉल्स थ्री मे बी फॉल्स सो प्लीज हैव अ लुक एट द क्वेश्चन डो नॉट टेल मी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू यू हैव टू टेल मी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मे बी फॉल्स ओके so yes we have a uh, lps tomorrow at 10 uh, lps tomorrow at 7 right so 7 pm pe aapka chandan sagar kal lps hai you have to attend that so quickly let me know what will be the answer here okay so Two and three are correct. One option one. One may be false. Okay, you have to tell me which of the following is the right option here. Two and three are correct. One may be false. Okay, one may be false. A. One may be false. Okay, absolutely right. So, बिल्कुल सही जवाब है. That is two and three are right here. They are absolutely true. And one may be false. ठीक है. So one आपका गलत हो सकता है because the relationship between U and A cannot be determined. ठीक है. तो यहां पर मैंने आपका पूरा का पूरा ये दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट इफ यू कंबाइन दिस दिस स्टेटमेंट कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस ठीक है सो इफ यू कंबाइन ऑल द स्टेटमेंट्स ऑल द थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स यू विल गेट दिस सिंगल स्टेटमेंट एंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द सिंबल्स दैट इज दिस इज लेस देन ग्रेटर देन ये तो आप सबको पता ही है पी इज नीदर स्मॉलर देन नॉट ग्रेटर देन दैट मीन्स दिस हैज टू बी इक्वल टू वन मे बी फॉल्स इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट रेना बिल्कुल सो टू एंड थ्री आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट दैट इज दिस वन इज राइट दिस वन इज डेफिनेटली ट्रू तो टू एंड थ्री आर डेफिनेटली ट्रू एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज मे बी फॉल्स डेफिनेटली फॉल्स नहीं है वो मे बी फॉल्स है अगर यहां पर डेफिनेटली फॉल्स बोला होता तो दैट वुड नॉट हैव बीन द आंसर बिकॉज वी कैन नॉट से वेदर यू माइनस ए इज डेफिनेटली फॉल्स और नॉट बिकॉज इट कैन बी फॉल्स इट कैन नॉट बी फॉल्स ठीक है सो वन मे बी फॉल्स वुड बी द राइट आंसर ठीक है सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द रिलेशनशिप दैट वी नीड हियर सो यू टू ए यू हैव टू सी so what is the relationship this is your asterisk this is your ampersand this is your asterisk and this is your minus right so let's make a case here yahan par dekh lete kaun kaun se aapke do groups banenge so this is your plus let's say this is plus of less than what is the meaning of uh, this one again minus is less than equal to and this one will be uh, your exclamation mark right so these three symbols are in one group other group mein aapka asterisk aayega theek hai aapka dusra aayega ampersand and the last one will be again an exclamation mark so this is group 1 and this is group 2 any symbol you get get from a simple single group you will be able to determine the relation if you get symbols from different groups you will not be able to determine the relation so here we have the symbols that is asterisk ampersand and minus now minus is here and your asterisk is here right so you can see Uh, you can see that we have different symbols from different groups, right? So minus is coming here and the asterisk is coming here. That means you will not be able to determine the relationship between U to A. So U से A का बीच का relation आप determine नहीं कर पाओगे because of the opposite nature of the symbol, right? So that is why U to A the relationship cannot be determined and hence one may be false. If you have a look at the U to S. 
तो यू से एस के बीच में आप डिटरमाइन कर सकते हो बिकॉज एस्ट्रिक एंड एम्पर्सन इफ यू हैव अ लुक एट दिस एस्ट्रिक एंड एम्पर्सन आर कमिंग इन द सेम ग्रुप सो यस यू कैन डिटरमाइन द रिलेशनशिप हियर टी टू एस यस अगेन यू कैन डिटरमाइन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द वन ओके आई कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड आई एम अ बिगनर चलिए मैं आपको पूरा बता देती हूँ शुभम देखिए सबसे पहले आपने इसको सिंबल को बना लिया अब इसका मीनिंग देख लेते हैं क्या होता है सो so, एस्ट्रिक का मतलब क्या है दिस इज योर ग्रेटर देन राइट सो यू इज ग्रेटर देन टी टी एम परसन दैट इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू आर आर इज ग्रेटर देन एस एस माइनस ए वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ माइनस दैट इज लेस देन इक्वल टू सो दिस इज लेस देन इक्वल टू ए एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सक्लेमेशन दैट इज योर इक्वल टू बी राइट सो दिस इज द स्टेटमेंट दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग After combining everything in the same go, हमने combine कैसे किया We have taken the common relationships. देखिये यहां पर T से आ, U से T था right? So this is U asterisk T. So T के साथ हमें कुछ जोड़ना है या you can see that we have T ampersand R. Then we will be combining something with R. So we have R asterisk S. Then we have to combine something that is ending with S. So we get a starting S minus A. Now we this is ending with the A. So then we have a A exclamation. B, right? So we form a pair of statements. We combine them by finding the common variable between two different statements. ठीक है? तो यहाँ पर आपको combine करना है. तो this type you will be combining them. इस तरह से आपने combine कर दिया. उसके बाद you have to find the relationship between your U से A. U से A का आपको relation देखना है. तो किस तरह से देखते हो? You have to see whether you can travel or not, right? So, travel करने के लिए we travel from the open end to close end. अब यहाँ से U से T आप travel कर सकते हो because this is the open end of any symbol, right? Open end है ये आपका closed end होता है. So, जहाँ पर move खुल रहा होता है that is the open end for greater than equal to or greater than this one is the open end, right? This is the open end here. This is the open end here. This is the open end here. And this one is the open end here. Equal to दोनों तरफ से खुला होता है. So you can travel only from open to close end. So you can travel from U to T because open से closed है. यहाँ से भी आप travel कर सकते हो because this is open to closed end. This is also open to closed end. लेकिन आप S के बाद A तक travel नहीं कर पाओगे because यहाँ पर रास्ता बंद है. That is a closed end you are getting in the middle, right? तो इसी वजह से यहाँ पर आपका first वाला false हो जाएगा. You will not be able to determine the relationship between U to A. ठीक है सो दिस इज द बेसिक ऑफ दिस तो किसको प्रॉब्लम थी यहां पर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरीवन ठीक है सो यहां पर वन विल बी फॉल्स यूर वन मे बी फॉल्स एंड सेकेंड एंड थर्ड आर डेफिनेटली ट्रू हियर ठीक है तो चलिए लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट दिस नाउ फॉर दिस यू शुड यूज द सेग्रीगेशन मेथड दैट इज यू शुड मेक द टू डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स यू शुड मेक टू डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स ऑफ सिंबल्स एंड देन अप्लाई क्योंकि यहां पर आप सारे के सारे सॉल्व करने जाओगे तो बहुत ज्यादा टाइम लग जाएगा सो यू शुड मेक अ ग्रुप ऑफ सिंबल्स लेट्स मेक द ग्रुप ऑफ सिंबल्स या सो दिस इज इक्वल टू राइट What is the meaning? This is equal to. It directly they were given here. This is greater than either greater than or equal to. This is less than and this is either less than or equal to. Right. So if you make symbols here, group one and group two. So group one or group two may we will be taking the similar kind of question, uh, similar type of symbols that is greater than, greater than equal to and equal to will be one group and less than. Less than equal to and equal to will be in another group. अगर same group से आपके relations हुए, तो आप कोई भी definite relation निकाल सकते हो. They it may be definitely true, it may be definitely false. लेकिन अगर if you have symbols from different groups, the relationship will be cannot be determined. ठीक है? Uh, Ma'am, what's your name? Madhur, I am Nikita. Nikita Patra, मेरा नाम है. ठीक है? So, चलिए let's make the segregate the groups here. तो जल्दी से देखते हैं greater than को हम पहले group में लिख लेते हैं. This is greater than and the meaning here is ampersand. What is greater than equal to? That is your dollar, right? So this is your group one and equal to का मतलब है cap. So this is your cap. Uh, cap is equal to, right? So this is your group one here. ये group one हो गया. Group two में we will be taking less than, less than equal to and equal to. So less than is your at the rate. Less than equal to is your uh, what is less than equal to that is your percentage and what is equal to here that is again cap. Okay. 
सो ई ओके एब्सोल्युटली सो ई इज द राइट आंसर यह बिल्कुल सही है आई होप एवरीबडी हैज यूज दिस टेक्निक एंड नॉट सॉल्व द कंप्लीट क्वेश्चन सो आपने पूरे पांचों के पांचों ऑप्शन सॉल्व नहीं किए हैं आई होप यू हैव अप्लाइड दिस टेक्निक ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन नाउ इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड द रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम के टू एल मतलब आपको एल से लेके के के बीच में रिलेशन देखने हैं ठीक है सो चलिए जल्दी से लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस वेदर वी आर गेटिंग एनी ऑपोजिट सिंबल्स क्योंकि अगर कहीं भी ऑपोजिट सिंबल मिल गया तो उसको हम डायरेक्टली एलिमिनेट कर सकते so this is cap no problem this is percentage from group 2 no problem but this is ampersand from group 1 so we have symbols from group 1 and group 2 both so is case mein aap determine nahi kar paoge because the symbols are of opposite nature you cannot find the relationship between l to k so l to k ka aapka kabhi bhi koi bhi definite answer nahi aayega similarly let's have a look from k to l here we have a dollar dollar is group 1 we have a percentage percentage is coming in group 2 again we have different symbols from different groups that means you cannot determine the answer because of the opposite symbols nature theek hai to opposite nature symbol ho gaya to ye aapka yahan par dono dekhiye directly eliminate ho gaya you don't need to solve these questions right again let's find this here k se l dekhna hai so this is ampersand dollar and your cap so ampersand here dollar here and cap here so yes absolutely we can have a relationship we can have a uh, direct relationship between k to l jaldi se dekhte hain iska matlab kya hai ampersand ka matlab greater than hai this is your dollar that is greater than equal to so whenever you have a greater than sign that gets a priority so what will be the value here k is greater than l and what is the value that we require here is at the rate that is your less than so yes you can see we will get the definite relationship but it is definitely false this is not definitely true so third wala aapka definitely false हो जाएगा बिकॉज यू शुड गेट अ लेस देन सिंबल एंड यू आर गेटिंग अ ग्रेटर देन सिंबल ठीक है सो दिस वन अगेन विल नॉट ट्रू हियर यहां पर भी अगर आप देखोगे यू हैव टू फाइंड द रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम के टू एल दिस इज एम्परसेंट ग्रुप वन दिस इज परसेंटेज योर ग्रुप टू तो यहां पर एम्परसेंट एंड परसेंटेज आर फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स सो येस यू कैन नॉट फाइंड द रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम के टू एल आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन लेट्स फाइंड द लास्ट वन आपके चार यहां पर ऑलरेडी कैंसिल आउट हो चुके हैं यू हैव टू ऑप्शन यू हैव टू फाइंड एन ऑप्शन सो यू डोंट नीड टू चेक एन आंसर इन दिस केस तो यहां पर अगर एग्जाम में कभी भी आपके चार एलिमिनेट हो चुके हैं यू कैन डायरेक्टली मार्क द आंसर बट विल क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट दिस वन ऑल्सो ठीक है तो जल्दी से देखते हैं दिस इज एम्परसन दिस इज डॉलर एंड दिस इज कैप अगेन यू कैन सी दैट दे आर कमिंग इन द सेम ग्रुप राइट यहां पर देखोगे ग्रुप वन में आ रहे हैं सो एम्परसेंट का मतलब क्या है ग्रेटर देन डॉलर का मतलब ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू दैट मींस योर एम्परसेंट विल बी गेटिंग द प्रायोरिटी सो फ्रॉम हियर यू विल हैव अ रिलेशन दैट इज एल इज ग्रेटर देन के एंड इफ यू हैव अ लुक एट दिस वन आल्सो दिस आल्सो मींस के इज लेस देन एल यही मतलब है ठीक है सो के इज लेस देन एल ही इसका मतलब था एट द रेट का क्या मतलब था लेस देन था एंड दैट इज वॉट यू आर गेटिंग इफ यू रीड इट फ्रॉम हियर दिस इज एल इज ग्रेटर देन के एंड इफ यू रीड इट फ्रॉम हियर इट इज के इज लेस देन एल एब्सोल्युटली द सेम थिंग यहां भी आपको वही मिल रहा है दैट इज एल इज ग्रेटर देन के सो ये आपका बिल्कुल सही हो जाएगा आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन ठीक है absolutely i hope this is clear to everyone any doubts in here please let me know so this is one trick that you can apply to do away with your extra uh, options right so options ko eliminate karne ke liye aap isko use kar sakte ho theek hai so let's go to the next question so this is the next question on your screen again just apply the same trick and try to find the answer ki kaun sa answer yahan par sahi hoga theek hai so not smaller than that means greater than equal to neither smaller than nor equal to is greater than neither greater than nor equal to will be less than not greater than means uh, less than or equal to and this is neither greater than nor smaller than so this has to be your equal to right so ye aapke meaning ho gaye theek hai ab yahan par which of the following statement shows that b hash d and c percentage a will be definitely true theek hai 
So B three second. Okay, so we are having two answers. That is, uh, two of you are saying that it's the second one. Vijay says it's the third one. Okay, we'll quickly have a look at this one. This is your question number five, right? Okay. So second. Okay, second. So most of you are saying it's the second one. Second. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So second one is the right answer. बिल्कुल सही है कि second आपका बिल्कुल सही होगा, ठीक है? So let's quickly have a look at this one. What do we have here? So this you have to find the relationship between. देखिए, यहाँ पर C percentage A है. If you have a look at this one, third one, यहाँ पर आपका क्या दे रखा है? C asterisk A. So you should have a C percentage A. ये तो आप directly eliminate कर सकते हो, because this cannot be true. C percentage A की जगह यहाँ पर आपका C asterisk A दे रखा है. So the third one can be directly eliminated, right? You don't need to check in that case. यहाँ पर अगर हम देखें, second को अगर हम देखें, this is your B hash D. So B hash D तो directly मिल रहा है. Now you need to check the relationship from C percentage A, right? So this you have to check that what will be the relationship between them. So you have a hash, hash, percentage, hash and at the rate. What is the what are the relationships here? अगर आप यहाँ पर group भी बनाओगे, तो भी उतना ही time लगेगा नहीं तो आप directly भी देख सकते हो. What is the meaning of hash? Three hashes are there. So these are greater than equal to. What is the meaning of percentage? That is greater than. So whenever you have a greater than sign in between and everything else you can see is either greater than equal to or equal to. So what gets the priority? Greater than gets the priority over greater than equal to and equal to. That means your percentage will be getting a higher priority. So the relationship between C to A will be of C percentage A. यहाँ पर इतने सारे hash और A आपका at the rate को priority नहीं मिलेगा. Priority किसको मिलेगा? आपका percentage को मिलेगा. That is your greater than, right? So C greater than A और C percentage A will be absolutely right here. And B hash D तो आपका directly दे रखा था. And that is why this is also true. So this is absolutely true here. If you have a look at this one, C से A का आपको देखना है. यहाँ पर आपको क्या relation मिल रहा है? So you will get asterisk, 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 asterisk. So four asterisks. What is the meaning here? That is less than. What is the meaning of this dollar? Dollar का मतलब less than equal to है. This is your equal to. That means everything is of the same nature. कोई opposite nature का नहीं है. Definitely true या definitely false में से कुछ आ सकता है. So C asterisk A will be the relationship that you will be getting here, right? So C asterisk A and what did you need here? That is you needed C percentage A. I hope this is clear. ठीक है? So, बिल्कुल, मैम, restatement true, okay. So, I hope this is clear to everyone. मैम, what should do those who are losing learning and memorizing par day by day? साक्षी, you should try to focus. Focus के लिए बहुत सारे exercises होते हैं to increase your concentration part. That is, you look at one point, single point. तो उसको आप Google करके देखना. That helps you a lot, right? So, you can try the those concentration skills. तो उसको आप कर सकते हो. ठीक है? हाँ. Yes, restatement true means restatement is the same statement. What is if whatever is given in the statement is it's exactly given in the conclusion also. Okay, so that is that is what you are asking. Focus and Karela choose. Okay, चलो. Let's have a look at the next question. I hope this is clear to everyone. Okay. Now guys, I hope you guys know that we are coming up with a complete course based on SBI PO 2020. So this will be covering your prelims, mains and as well as your interview and GDPI. Okay, so everything will be covered and it's absolutely available in English and in Hindi. It's a bilingual course also. We will be having different courses, right? So only English, bilingual courses, Hindi course. So everything will be covered. If you have any problem, if you do not understand Hindi, you will have a course in English. If you do not understand English, you have a course in Hindi too, right? So everything will be covered in all languages. This is coming uh, onwards 29th. So 29th onwards, आपका ये आने वाला है. We will be having uh, your live classes, uh, your revision classes, video lectures, then strategy sessions. Then this is a mock recruitment drill, which is again a very important one, uh, wherein you will be getting a prelims examination paper. You will be, if you qualify, you will go to the mains examination. If you qualify that, you will be appearing for your GD and PI. Right? So this is a mock recruitment drill, which is also available in this. So अगर आपको सिर्फ mock recruitment drill लेना है, that is available for 99. But if you 
buy this one purchase this one then this can be available in this so the price here is your 4000 yeah 399 aapka price tha us pe if you apply this code that is np60 you will get a 60% discount right so np is nikita patra so nikita patra 60% discount aapko dene wale hain so this is your 60% discount coupon code you can just apply it on that and you will get a flat 60% discount theek hai okay Uh, you know my question, ma'am. When is SBI PO uh, drill prelims date? Which is Lakshmi third third July. तक तो the आपका वो वही open है, right? So uh, you will you have a PDF in that, right? उसमें PDF में देखेगा you will get the dates. So when you can download the form, uh, when you can download the admit card, everything is given in detail there. तो उसको एक बार देखेगा, ठीक है? Okay. Now next question is <laughs> yes, absolutely, Sakshi. That's that's the nine. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yes, next is your LPS. Okay, so I hope this is clear to everyone. If you are buying this, please do not forget to apply the code NP60. उससे आपको 60% code मिलेगा, ठीक है? And one more piece of information is that tomorrow we have the live practice session, right? So live practice session आपका कल है सात बजे. The topics are approximation, SICI percentage and profit loss, right? So this is very important for you guys to improvise on your speed. All those who have already given must be knowing that how much it helps and all those who have not attempted this one please attempt this kind of live practice sessions these are absolutely free of cost ye thursday ko aapka free of cost hai isko zarur se attempt kariye because you will be competing with your peers on the national scale and you will see yourself on the leaderboard bilkul free hai koi paisa nahi dena hai isko attempt zarur karna hai theek hai i hope that you will uh, you guys will be attempting this theek hai चलो लेट्स गो टू द क्वेश्चन नाउ डायरेक्टली जल्दी से क्वेश्चन देखते हैं सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन ओके सो वन मोर क्वेश्चन इज एस बी आई पी ओ वॉर्म अप बैच यस सो ओके चलो विल अटेंड द एलपीएस एब्सोल्यूटली यू मस्ट अटेंड द एलपीएस सुनीता हाउ टू परचेज वीडियोज मैम सुनीता इफ यू गो टू द वेबसाइट यू विल हैव अ सेपरेट लिंक फॉर परचेज तो आप उसमें जाके देख सकते हो वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू बाई यू विल गेट अ लिंक फॉर एवरी थिंग एंड इफ यू फाइंड एनी कंफ्यूजन विद एनी थिंग यू कैन ऑलवेज चैट विद द हेल्प डेस्क पीपल दे आर रियली हेल्पफुल पीपल दे विल बी हेल्पिंग यू आउट विद एवरी डाउट ऑफ योर्स वीडियो कोर्सेज आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन एच बंसी वी हैव ऑल द वीडियो कोर्सेज अगर आप ऐसे देखोगे तो वहां पर आपके वीडियो कोर्सेज हैं उसमें वीडियो लिंक्स हैं उसमें so you can just check on the discounts also the uh, offers uh, the link has been given here you can just check out the link that gives you all the offers that are included here. चलिए सो क्विकली लेट मी नो व्हाट विल बी द आंसर टू दिस वन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस इज स्मॉलर देन दिस इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू दिस इज स्मॉलर देन और इक्वल टू एंड दिस इज ग्रेटर देन साक्षी सेज फाइव बंसी सेज सी सुनीता सेज नन देखिए अगर मैं यहां पर इसके पर्स मीनिंग लिख दू लेट्स राइट इट डाउन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ परसेंटेज दैट इज लेस देन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एट द रेट दैट इज योर ग्रेटर देन दिस इज डॉलर मींस आपका ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन मार्क हियर व्हिच यू नीड टू फिल देन वी हैव एम परसेंट दैट इज इक्वल टू देन वी हैव अ परसेंटेज दैट इज अ लेस देन देन वी हैव अगेन अ क्वेश्चन मार्क दैट यू नीड टू फिल हियर एंड वी हैव अ M percent here that is your equal to right so you need to fill this one and this one अब आपको यहाँ पर क्या चाहिए Q से I का चाहिए and you have to find the O to dot O to S right so if you have a look from Q to I you have a greater than equal to sign and you have a question mark right so this is your Q is greater than equal to R and you have a gap and you have a I now what should you fill in place of this so that the relationship from q to i is of dollar now what is the meaning of dollar that is a greater than equal to to yahan par aap kya fill karo ki aapka greater than equal to ka symbol aaye to either you can find a greater than equal to or an equal to ye dono aapne agar kiya then only you will get a definite relationship of greater than equal to agar aapne yahan par greater than laga diya then you will have a relationship of greater than because greater than gets a higher priority 
over your greater than equal to and your equal to so these are the two relationships that you can fill in here right so greater than equal to ka matlab kya hai aapka that is your dollar right so either you can fill in dollar in place of the first one or you can fill in your ampersand right so the first symbol has to be either dollar or ampersand to yahan par dekhiye either one is the answer or your e is the answer baki aapka yahan par cancel out ho jayega because <coughs> sorry because using b c and d you will not be able to get the definite relation definitely true hona chahiye theek hai bilkul so yahan par b c and d will be eliminated so it's either dollar or pers ampersand that you should be starting with now you have to find the relationship of second one so let's see o se s dekhna hai so this is the relationship so o is less than d and we have a s here right so less than aur yahan par hame symbol kya chahiye that is a percentage percentage ka matlab less than hai right so this is the meaning of less than ye aapka less than ka symbol hai theek hai so yahan par aap kya kya kar sakte ho you can have a less than equal to no problem at all because you are getting a less than you can have a less than symbol or you can have an equal to symbol any of these symbols and you will get the answer here अब यहाँ पर देखिए एट द रेट का क्या मतलब था एट द रेट का मतलब था ग्रेटर देन राइट सो ग्रेटर देन मतलब था सो दिस वन आल्सो विल बी एलिमिनेटेड बिकॉज यू नीड आइडर ऑफ दीज सिंबल्स सो दिस इज द आंसर एज नन ऑफ दीज आई होप दिस इज क्लियर ठीक है सो आप एब्सोल्युटली द आंसर विल बी योर ऑप्शन ई आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी बिल्कुल सही है सो येस सो लेट्स गो टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन सो लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे ऑन योर स्क्रीन क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट दिस एंड लेट मी नो द आंसर टू दिस वन so this plus means greater than right this percentage is equal to this asterisk means uh ye aapka asterisk hoga theek hai the first one is asterisk so asterisk represents less than this is less than and again a plus which is your greater than so a b e a priyanka it's all your hard work aapka hard work hai okay e a b I am getting different answers here. Let's quickly have a look at this one. ठीक है? So चलिए देखते हैं what is the question? This is a very good question. Let's have a look at this one. ठीक है? So which of the following should be placed in blank spaces respectively? That is in the same order. A S D R T P. ये जो आपके यहाँ पर छह fill in the blank लिख रहे हैं, that is you should be putting these values in the same order. अगर हम पहला बनाएं, so this will be equal to A is greater than S. This is equal to D. This is less than R. R is less than T. And T is greater than B. Should be put in the same sequence. ठीक है? So यहाँ पर अगर आप देखोगे, what should be the relationship between A to B? A to B definitely false होना चाहिए, definitely false पूछा है, maybe false नहीं है, guys. Please understand, you should have a definitely false relationship in between. That means अगर आपका यहाँ पर A greater than B है, तो यहाँ पर आपका A less than B होना चाहिए या A less than equal to B आना चाहिए। A greater than B तभी आपका definitely false होगा when you get either of these relationships or you have a A is equal to B, right? So of these relationships, अगर आपको कुछ भी मिल गया, तभी आपका A greater than B will be definitely false. It should not be may be false. अगर आप पहला वाला देखोगे, you have Opposite relationships in here, right? यहाँ पर opposite relationships आ रहा है. That means you cannot determine the value between A and B. Now this can be false, this can be true as well. तो ये हमारा definitely false नहीं है. This one will come under may be false. So first वाला आपका answer नहीं होगा. Let's have a look at the second one. You have to see from B to A. Again, if you travel from this, this is one, two, three, four, right? So we are traveling one, two, three, and four, right? So again, you can see that we are getting a greater than and a less than symbol. Again, the relationship will be cannot be determined. So this again is not the right answer. यहाँ पर C देखते हैं, A से B देखना है. So we are talking about the third. This is मतलब ये वाले की बात करें. This is your A. This is your K. And this is your B. 
Again, you will see that we have a less than sign and a greater than sign. That means again an opposite symbol. So, ye bhi aapka may be false mein ho jayega. Definitely false nahi hoga. Okay. Okay, I'll explain in English. Uh, first, make cannot be established relationship. Absolutely. So, whenever you have to find the relationship that is definitely false, if you have to find the relationship that is of definitely false, let's say A is greater than B is definitely false, then the relationship that you should be having is A is less than B or A is less than equal to B or A is equal to B. Only then you will have A greater than B as definitely false. If you have opposite symbols in between, then that means you cannot determine the relationship between the two variables. And when you cannot determine the relationship between two variables, then A greater than B, A less than B and A equal to B, all three are possible. That means a greater than B may become true in one of the situations. In that case, the conclusion will never be a definitely false one. It will go under may be false. It will be treated as may be false. That is, cannot be determined relationship is always taken as may be false. It is never taken as a definitely false. Okay. Let's have a look at the D part. Now you have to find the relationship from A to B. So if you have a look at this, A is coming here with equal to, then your uh, R is coming here, your T is coming here and your B is coming here and you can see everything is of the same nature. So you are getting A is less than B. So from here you will get A less than B and what should be the relationship that should be definitely false that is A should have been greater than B but what you are getting is A is less than B. Absolutely so this one will make your relationship of definitely false. I hope this is clear to everyone. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. Any doubts in here please let me know. Is it clear to everyone guys? Please let me know any doubts in here. Kisi ko koi bhi doubt ho please batayye ga. Now this one was a good question. Okay. So jaldi se batayye any doubts in here? So this is clear right? Clear hai. Bilkul. Okay. So I hope this is clear to everyone. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the session. आप लोगों को समझ में आया होगा कुछ tricks हमने discuss किए that how you should segregate these kind of questions, right? We'll be having more such sessions, so do not worry. So I hope you understood the concept. You enjoyed the session today. Uh, we'll be seeing you again tomorrow. कल हमारी फिर से class होगी, ठीक है? So nice questions today. Thank you, Sakshi. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. All those who are new to this session, uh, new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe the channel. And if you have not pressed the bell icon as of yet, please press the bell icon. And if you enjoyed the questions, if you liked my explanation, please press the bell icon also. Uh, not bell icon, sorry, <laughs> like button also. Okay. So, coded blood relation take one class. So, we absolutely will take questions on your coded blood relation also. Okay. So, I'll see you guys with another session tomorrow at 12 p.m. sharp. So, please be there at time, on time. Okay. Ah, bye and Karela ko bhi bye. Chalo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Chalo guys, take care. Please stay safe. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another session. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead.